Leo. Good morning, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. If you are watching me live, you are very welcome. Back at the start of a brand new week here up in my bedroom, and it's Monday. So it is Makeover Monday, Makeover Beauty. I'm obviously sitting at my dressing table. Going to be joined by a really, really special guest. Yes, one of my oldest friends in the beauty world. Well, I should probably say the most long-standing, should I? Otherwise it sounds a bit rude, doesn't I? Uh, we're not, we're not going to talk about age. We're not ageist here at all. But yes, one of my longest-standing friends. Um, and <laughs> let me... Am I the right way around? Hello. Am I the right way around? I think I am the right way around. Yes. Excellent. Let me know if I am not, and I will switch it. Uh, so today I am joined by Martha from my team. Hi Martha, she's just popped a little note up on Facebook. Now for all of you who know the drill here, when I go live with a guest, I can only do it on Instagram. So that means that we'll split the screen on Instagram. So if you want to see my special guest, then it's worth hopping over to Instagram. But you will be able to hear everything that we talk about and it's always the content Hello Beauty Bible, I can see you. So yes, that's a bit of a clue as to my special guest today. So I'm going to be joined by Joe Fairley, who is one half of the brilliant Beauty Bible duo, Joe Fairley and Sarah Stacey. It's a very special year for them and you may or may not know, but they have these amazing beauty awards. And honestly, what Joe and Sarah do not know about beauty products is not really worth knowing. So I'm really, really looking forward to a good old chat. So, Joe, it says here that you are here. So I am going to hopefully click and let's see if our connection will work. Because I haven't actually spoken to Joe for too long. Hello. Hello. I'm just adjusting so you can see me. <laughs> adjusting your set. Yes, we adjusting have to say do do set. do adjust your set. <laughs> I have <laughs> How are you, darling? Yeah, very good, thank you. Good. Are you in Hastings? I am in Hastings. I um I was on holiday in Devon last week on a staycation. I saw so on your Instagram. Whereabouts uh, were you? Um, just outside Honiton, a Lovely. place called Stockland. And I have a very clever goddaughter who's an interior designer, and she's done up an amazing country cottage oh, and how fun. Every week, and it just reminded me how important it is just to switch off sometimes. You're so right. I was actually down in Solcombe a few weeks ago, and honestly, it didn't take that long to get there. I mean, I'm halfway there anyway in the West Country, yeah. um, but you know, it probably it took me a couple of hours maybe. And it was like being in another world. I mean, it was like being yeah. on the Riviera. It was another country, and I was just there for a few nights. But I really felt that I'd had a proper break, even though I was working. Actually, I still felt exactly. invigorated. <laughs> And I was doing a lot of cooking, but it was heaven. It was yeah, heaven. Yeah, great. And a great re relaxation after the aforementioned Beauty Bible Awards, which... Yes. Really oh, my goodness. I am so excited to talk about this because I have got a box here of award winners, which we're going to talk wow. through. But for all those who don't know, do you want to just... I mean, there's so much that you and I could talk about. Oh, my goodness. We could be here all day, couldn't we? Literally. Yes. I mean, we could yes. point and I'm say... I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I hope you cancelled all plans for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Um, Everyone's got their Wi-Fi off, so good. told otherwise. Good. Well, you and I first met, it uh, must be at least 30 years ago, uh, yes. when I was a baby junior in the beauty world, writing for magazines, and you were already a doyen beauty editor, having been the youngest ever editor of Honey magazine, or yeah, any, so any magazine. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I remember very vividly a Clarence trip to the south of France back in the day when... Back in the day when we did those things. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but Sarah and I have been doing Beauty Bible. This is our 25th year, so that's the very special yeah. occasion that you alluded to. Exactly. Um, really special. So it started with the books, didn't it? It started with the original started. Beauty Bible book. Yeah. And they came about, it was Sarah's idea. She came to me at a press launch, a deal press launch in Paris, actually, because Marvelous. that's what we used to do. Um, <laughs> Those were the and, days. Um, 
times have changed. Um, and now, um, and then and she said, I've got this idea for a beauty book called The Beauty Bible. And what we decided would make it different was that every beauty book up until that point just simply said, take a moisturizer or a cleanser or yeah. a body cream. They were not product specific. And in fact, when we first went to see publishers, they said, oh, beauty books don't sell. And we said, yeah, well, we know why they don't sell, because actually women want real nitty gritty information. They don't want wiffly waffly stuff. So our idea, our mad idea, was to send real products to real women to try in real time mm. and report back over a period of months, yeah. literally using them in some cases on their face and um, in order to put things through their paces as we would in real life. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you when you see magazine reports on, on products, people haven't had time to test them for very long. No, if it's so true. They have opened the jar. So... But this real feedback from real women has really it powered the books to kind of bestseller status globally. Yeah. And then we realized that it took so long to publish a book, i.e. a year from handing it in to getting mm -hmm. it on the shelf, ridiculously, because the publishing industry is stuck in the dark ages, um, that we decided we would do it online instead because the books were kind of half out of date by the time, or there yeah. was a risk that they were going to be out of date yeah. by the time... They appeared so we thought well, we're going to do it online so we do it on beautybible.com and literally the whole beauty world gets involved and submits products to these real testers so how and many how many testers do you have in your panel well this time we had 1380 so 1380 um, yeah, testers teams of 10 teams of 10, teams of 10. so you so out. basically does that mean that you send out 10 of the same moisturizer to 10 yeah, women to absolutely. test independently yeah. and how long yes. do they have to test it for up to three months so oh, it's wow. not just moisturizer. it's cellulite treatments it's 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 um nail treatments it's mascaras it's yeah. eyeshadow it's everything that you would really have um, in your beauty arsenal and more, yeah. um, including now gadgets, because of course gadgets have become a thing. Yes. And Tell me, my, my daughter is, is doing gadgets, <laughs> beauty tech, love it. My, uh, and the trouble is, they're big ticket items, yeah. and you want to be absolutely sure before yeah. you spend your hard earned for that sure. they really work. So we've started a category for that. So they get up to three months to try them. I mean, obviously, you don't need three months to check that a mascara does yeah. the business Ellen. but you know but but for a skin cream you know particularly you know if you're making yeah. claims like a neck and throat cream or, yeah. or a nail renewing product or a hair product yeah, yeah you I mean you do need three months don't you you need three months mm. and what's amazing is how incredibly uh high the scores are i mean off we it's not unusual for a winning product to score something like 9.75 out of 10 wow. across and testers and we have a hunch as to why this is why they get such good reports why we get such good reports on the winning products and mm -hmm. very often I mean, we've had we had more awards given out this year than ever before because there was literally nothing to choose between the winners it wow. was they were so close and yet the scores were so high and i think it's because in real life what tends to happen is after a couple of days you think oh i'm just going to use that other thing and then that thing and we chop and change a lot you are especially course, people in the business i mean I'm, i've always got something different on my face <laughs> yeah but, in, but you know these creams are designed to work over time yeah. to deliver and so one of the reasons that people say to me oh eye creams don't work is because actually they've only used them like once or twice a week whereas actually if you want to see results from something like that you need to use it consistently once or twice a day according yeah. to instructions so they will read the instructions they do what they're told amazingly and we get these very very positive um replies so it's it's just, it blows us away every year. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I can remember the excitement because obviously I'm, I'm not connected to the, the Lizelle Beauty Company anymore, but having created Cleanse and Polish, I can remember, you know, getting a super, super high score and, and winning yeah. awards and, you know, the thrill of it because you know it's been independently tested. And Well, and that's why the awards mean so much to the industry because yeah. it is independent and it's, you know, it, you can't buy your way in. You just send no. us 10 you know, yeah. and we'll tell you back. 
And, and um, there is always that worry, isn't there? I think when you see something that's reviewed in a magazine and you see the glowing review and then you turn the page and you see the full page <laughs> advert... <laughs> You know, you think, oh, I I wonder if that's influenced the editorial decision, the fact that they've just taken out, you know, a double page spread of advertising. Not only has it influenced it, but I mean, I was horrified when I found this out. But magazines have tick box, they have checklists that they've got to mention. And it's one reason why why we have never taken advertising on Beauty Fiber, because I don't ever want, I grew up at a time in journalism. When the advertising in, advertising department never spoke to the journalists. In fact, you weren't allowed to, lest they taint your yeah for influence integrity. Mm. So yeah. there's, no, it's, you know, it's 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 very different, isn't it? The very different, it's very different, different message. So just before we go, we're, we're going to go through some of the award winners, and they've all got their lovely yeah. little stickers on, uh, and, and we'll talk about them because they're really exciting brands to to highlight and to mention. Inevitably, the questions are coming up here saying, how do we get on the testing panel? How do we join? <laughs> I mean, is it closed? Do you have to join a waiting list? How does it work? No, there's, there's actually a button on the on the, um, on beautybible.com to join. And we do okay. charge. I mean, we it's interesting. We, we charge the testers to, to basically cover the cost of putting together this parcel because yeah. there are six people at this end involved in this operation. Mm. Yeah. And... Rather than um, charge the brands, uh, because that would limit massively the number of brands that could afford... Yeah, to and they're paying for the product as well anyway, the brands, I think aren't they? They're giving the product and we ask the testers to pay for postage packing. Postage and packing, That's reasonable, yeah. Or sending it out. Yeah, I think that's and also reasonable. And also we found that by asking them to do that, they commit to a process because there yeah. are a lot of forms to fill in. And right. Yeah, you've got to take it seriously. You've got to be a proper to tester. They've got yeah. to take it seriously. Yeah. Um, and we found at the beginning when we were just delivering hand delivering bags of bags to people, getting yeah. the forms back was a nightmare yeah. because they were like, "Oh, I just got a bunch of free stuff," you know. So yes. No, I mean I'm I can't retire to South France on the proceeds of this. Yeah. It is literally a service to womankind. Yeah. Well, and it's a great one. So let's let's dive in. Should we start where it always begins, I guess, with a cleanser? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so I've never heard of this brand, Inico Organic. Who are these guys? Inico Organic is a big New Zealand brand, uh, New Zealand Naturals brand that have done very, very well. They've got quite a few winners in this year's um, awards. And Ooh, you know, look, they, it's got I mean, a brush on the end of it. Yes, very I wasn't different. expecting that. I thought I was just going to take the top off. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that lovely Ooh. stimulation. So, so you use it like this? Yeah. Nice, yeah. lovely so little gadget. So it's kind of halfway between a cleanser and a kind of sonic cleansing brush, but you have to do your own sonic space. You do your, 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 own, your own vibrational bit. Your own vibrations. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that feels really nice. It feels really nice. I think that... Nice. One of the very light smell. Made, was a... A nice relaxing action on the jaw when you applied it. Oh, because... nice! Yeah, around here. Yeah, excellent. So that so that that was a top winner, was it? This one. That was, that was it. What I, you have to tell me what sticker it's got on because you've got oh, the I right. Oh, I see. Uh, it's got a pink <laughs> one. It just says Beauty Bible Awards 2021. It should say gold, or it should be, it should have a colour like. Oh, gold. right. So so oh, does that mean bronze? That's bronze. Okay, yeah. right. So you've got the categories: gold, silver, bronze. Yeah. So we've sent you a selection. You sent me lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I know that Martha's popping links up on uh, on Facebook, and we'll we'll pop link. I mean, obviously you've got links on Beauty Bible as well, but I'll make sure that they go on our and website. I remember meeting the founder of Inica when she started and when she first came to the UK. And what's amazing for us is to you know like well, I knew you before. You knew me before me. beauty products, yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, very often they are. When we first meet these people, they are startup brands, and yeah. many of them have leveraged their wins in Beauty Bible and built really quite significant yeah. companies on the back of it. Yeah, because I'm it sure. is very, very tried and trusted symbol. Yeah, I remember. I think using Green People Sun Care after um, them getting yeah. good awards. In fact, they're just on that subject, there's a very nice looking after sun cream here for a little brand called Organi Everyday Organic. Organi. So so what you've got there is it, you'll see that there's Best Natural and Beauty Steel. So sometimes brands get an extra award for being the highest scoring, most natural product. Because smells amazing, we know that, that one. Love that smell. We know that, uh, testers, we have a lot of readers who want to see... Um, so look, 
So, that, well, so that, well, that, that's got three, three stickers there. Yeah, so the green one means that it was the highest scoring natural product. Okay. Uh, gold as well, I think. Um, so it got the gold award. Gold but it and green got, and, and, and beauty, beauty steel. steel. Which means that it's really affordable compared to the other winners. Wow, that is yeah. good going. Well done, Organi. Great. So, uh, so for some brands, they get those little extra stickers um, because we know that lots of people are looking for natural products. Yeah. And every winner is a natural. Yeah. But we just sent you a few more natural than we normally would in a package to testers because we happen to know that you are. That, that's, that's my Wait, bent. That's my <laughs> it's my, my inclination. It's not exclusive, but it's my inclination. Now, tell me about this one. I don't know about this brand either. Oh, my goodness. I must have been under a rock for a while. Who's this? <laughs> SSVR. Who are these guys? SBR is one of those French pharmacy brands, actually, but they had, had I think, three winners in this year's um, uh, awards. And what's that? Is that a toner or is that an eyeshadow? This says it's an I... essence hydra. So what is that? It says, so, mm, I, honestly, it's a... I'm, it's a bit complicated. It says it's a repairing solution, moisturising and replumping. So I think that testers found with that that it did have a, a kind of quench, skin quenching effect when they applied it before their moisturiser. Um, oh, yeah. it's, it's almost like a gel, actually. It's almost yeah. like a, a, a liquidy yeah. gel. Oh, I look oh, forward to trying that. So this has in it, it says it's for sensitive skin. So hyaluronic acid yeah. um, and B3. Now, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? As, as, a, as such a, a doyen of the beauty industry, you and I, but particularly you, will have seen so many changes in ingredients over the years. Yeah. Things like hyaluronic acid are really impressing me. Uh, I mean, and, are, are they the ingredients that you look for personally? Yes, I mean, I, I, I love hyaluronic acid. I swear that if you stood beside me, you would hear my skin drinking it in. Yeah. And it's just a miracle worker in terms of moisturisation. Yeah. You know, if you've got dry skin, which, which I mean, I, I had super dry skin. I would, certainly, if I didn't treat it well, I would have it very dry skin but um yeah so so ingredients like hyaluronic acid and but what it's really interesting what one of the categories that's gone bonkers in the last few years is serums mm. so we get more entries in the serum category than any other single category yeah. Um, but you know, that's interesting because I've got very dry skin and I used to love a really nice thick moisturiser. But I've found that the serums, particularly with things like retinol and hyaluronic acid, yeah. that does enough for me. That moisturises and I don't actually need a moisturiser, even though my skin is so much older. I think the serums are really powerful, aren't they? You forget just how I, much they can I, hydrate. And they, they somehow seem to make your moisturiser absorb better i don't understand the science of it but i feel like you don't mm. have to work so hard perhaps you don't even need as much moisturizer i mean i still yeah. put moisture on top of serum but um it, it just kind of glides more yeah um yeah and so in the olden days i would have at night worn a moisturizer and a facial oil over the top and now i tend to wear a serum and a moisturizer that's enough yes Yes, yeah, I, I agree with you. And the other thing that we're seeing a lot of, and it's interesting that you sent me this from a brand called Alpha H, is glycolic oh, yes. acid. <laughs> Tell us about acids. Why Why do you think acids, in particular gly glycolic acids, have been just so popular? I think because they've changed a lot since the early days when, I mean, I wouldn't touch acids with a barge pole in the early days. No, they, me, me neither. Red and flake and yep. fall off and... Yeah. They now understand that they have to buffer them with other ingredients, but that and also um, in in small sort of short burst doses, there's nothing quite like them. So mm. I think a lot has changed in terms of brands understanding the best way to make them suitable for multiple skin types, um, because we've we've had you know even very sensitive skin testers try some of the glycolic products, really? and as long as you're it on for too long, and as long as you're you know, not not doing it too frequently. Yeah. You know, it's just an amazing brightening boost. Yeah, and avoiding sun, presumably, if you're using a, an acid. Yeah. Have, this is really interesting. It's another Australian brand. What is it with all the Aussie brands? Yeah. I mean, they're just really invading, aren't they? They're, I mean, if you go to Australia, as I'm, I'm sure you have, you know, they've got a very strong beauty culture there. Yeah, very. 
an yeah. amazing chain of stores called Mecca, which is... Mecca, I love Mecca. I Was it Joe it. Hogan who started Mecca? <laughs> yeah, it's, and, and, you know, so it has a very strong market for skincare and, and lots of interesting startups. And I think also they have big skin challenges in terms of, you know, UV exposure and, you know, dealing with a very hot climate. I mean, this is just like a liquid. This is just like a water. And so what so you, you just you just sweep sweep this on. Well, it says concentrated skincare liquid gold. It's a silver I beauty beauty a, bible awards. I think that was a face saver. So that would okay. be a, a quick fix. Yeah, it says apply here onto cleanse skin. Yeah. Each alternate evening. So I mean that's yeah. very specific, isn't it? It's not an everyday thing. It's you're quite specific with using this. <laughs> Um, and then it says, it says it revitalizes and assists firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of skin, protein and licorice. Well, presumably when you're testing it, when your, your panel of 10 testers have got this, they are reviewing their test against the claims on the pack. Absolutely, that's what we say. The first, in the introduction, compare this with what the manufacturers are saying. So, of course, yeah. some products at the first hurdle if it doesn't if it doesn't in it doesn't any do way, that what it says so that that's that's impressive okay that's going on to my to-do list um <laughs> then we've got here oh now this is a favorite brand actually it's been around for such a long time elemis yes elemis, elemis. obviously still winning awards so still this is interesting pro collagen eye revive mask what's an yes, eye mask it's actually a cream Okay. I was very confusing having to do this uh, review because, in fact, it might even be an eye serum, but it describes it's itself it as... Up. Going to take it, is quite, it, 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 uh, it caused some confusion when I was writing this up, but we got there in the end. But, it, it you know, Elemis, Elemis is a brand that has won Beauty Bible Awards since the very beginning right. and, you know, is still creating incredible oh, well. skincare. Gosh. And so I, this... You know, I met. Ooh, look I met at that. That's a almost like yeah. a sort of balmy, balmy jelly thing. Je ba yeah. Balmy jelly thing. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. And clearly has an effect. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an award winner. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an award winner. I revive mask. Do you know, it's so great, isn't it, to have this shorthand for people, because skincare very often. I mean, you've got your beauty steals, which is great, but often it's yeah. such an investment. And you don't want it's to waste your money on stuff that's not going to do what it no, says I mean, it's going to do. I would love everybody to go to beautybybible.com and look up, you know, before they make their next purchase. Yeah. Um, but Just to see, that, see whether it's listed, see whether... The, so w will you review things even if they're not a winner? No, we don't, because we, we only have room for the winners. It would. It, I mean, there's Fine. just literally... The site would break if we put everything on there. <laughs> and, you, and, and you don't want to give someone a bad review anyway. It's better to say no, nothing, I, to be honest, isn't I, it? If you haven't got something nice to say, don't say anything. Quite right. <laughs> I like that. That's what we say here. The rule here is positive vibes only. Exactly. Plenty of space for yes. otherwise elsewhere, but not on these yeah. channels. Yeah. Um, now, this looks lovely. Uh, I am really enjoying getting back into soap. I know yes. it sounds really basic, but I think over the years I've learned, and I'm sure you've known this for a lot, lot longer than me, that, you know, all the cleansing gels and everything, it's single-use plastic, it's incredibly yeah. overpackaged. There are real issues now with over-sanitisation. I did a podcast recently with the <laughs> founder of the Sepsis Trust, you know, and, and the rise in sepsis is, is really worrying, and the rise in yeah. superbugs, particularly around hand sanitizers yeah. and all of that. So he said, and he's a hospital a NHS intensive care consultant who runs the Sepsis Trust, he said, don't forget the best thing to wash your hands is soap. soap. But also... Good old soap. And, and this it, looks so pretty. Look, can you see yeah, this, guys? That, Isn't that gorgeous? That's a Greek brand um, called Kia. It looks like Keep on the package. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called, Keep. Pronounced, pronounced Kia. Kia. Um, okay, so we know that now. Thank you for letting us know how to pronounce it. Kia. It has a great smell. Oh, it smells um, amazing. Yeah. I oh, my goodness. I wish I could show this through the screen if you'd smell it. You have to, have to, say, have, have to take a deep breath. And just imagine because it's sort of it's a lemony herby smell but but not overpowering it's not a sort of loo cleaner lemony no. smell it's much I, more sophisticated they're based in greece and they wanted to get a sense of the kind of aromatics of, of greece into yeah you the, could imagine walking through a greek pine forest with 
mint and lemon balm and things growing. And, you know, there's no pleasure like opening a new bar of soap. And it's I not agree. expensive. It's just one of life's ridiculous small yeah. pleasures. Absolutely. And, you know, if you go to somebody's house and you give them a beautiful bar of soap, actually, yeah. I mean, very practical now, but it's also oh, yeah. indulgent because we tend to think of soap as a bit of a commodity, but actually to have that little treat. I actually got into the habit of, um, I don't know whether you came with me, it was a press trip. I think it might have been Longcom, and we stayed in Marrakesh in that beautiful, is it the Jardin Majorelle? I, I did. And, and one of the things that I discovered in the hammams there was this Neroli glycerine soap. Yeah. And I've been hunting it out ever since because, <laughs> you know, and I've been paying to have it sent from, you know, strange <laughs> websites in France or whatever, which are the only seem to be the only stockists. Because it's my little indulgent. And OK, you know, it's £10 for a bar of soap. But every time I wash my hands with it, it lasts for ages. And every yeah. time I use it, I get real pleasure from it so you know cost per pleasure emotion yes. i think is actually really good value <laughs> and before you use it you can use it in your lingerie drawer you yes, know you can put you it can. in just your underwear smell nice that's yeah and even when you've got those little slithers left you can yeah. kind of just scoop them all up and keep yeah. them going well this is a brand that i'm really pleased to discover do they do other things or is it just soap uh, they do lots of other things and they have a, f a complete range and they have several winners in, in the awards. Really? This year. Great. So yeah. We shall look that one up. Thank you very much. Talking of hands, we've got something here um, which is a, a hand gel with glycerine, lavender and rosemary. So for those who do want to That's, use a sanitizer, yeah. this is o Oskia. Very posh hand gel. Oscar has done incredibly well in this year's awards, founded by Georgie Cleave. Uh, again, we knew them when they were a baby brand and they've yeah. done amazingly well. Over the years, won many, many different um, Beauty Bible awards. And this is kind of your luxury hand gel experience. Nice. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And that's got um, glycerine, lavender and rosemary. So, yeah, you know, if you if you do have to use a gel, let's use a nice one. That hopefully Very doesn't it, strip the skin. Very often, the winners do smell great. And yeah. it, it's such an important factor. Yeah. It, using a product and falling in love with a product, I think, is yeah. how... And I think um, smells also create real customer loyalty, yes. don't they? Because you become really attached. You become... There is that yeah. emotional connection. Well, you know, because of the, you know, the fragrance work Perfect. and and yeah. exactly uh which yeah. you know we, I'd, I'd love to talk about another time because that's a whole other hat that you wear uh, <laughs> several. <laughs> several several gorgeously scented hats <laughs> but, you know, we get so much pleasure out of these little rituals and i think they've become even more important over the last 15 months or so when we yeah. just needed to yeah. kind of cocoon ourselves and cocoon our senses and it's very interesting actually just as an aside perfume sales went through the roof in lockdown isn't and that interesting wear to go out and impress their friends or yeah. you know make they were wearing it for themselves and i think it's the same with scented products the joy of of something that yeah. just it grounds you delicious really hand cream or something or a lovely I love the Aveda, um, in fact, I've just been on, online and ordered some more for myself, the, the botanical glossing drops, it comes in a little blue bottle. And yeah. the smell, I mean, yes, it makes my hair shiny, but I just adore the smell. Yeah. I know. Just, just makes me smile. Talking of hair, this is a brand that I've actually also got to know recently, which I really like, and it might even be Australian, I'm not sure. Um, Living Proof, maybe it's not Australian, yes. is it British? Oh, in the, they're American, actually. They're American, okay. So Living proof, great hair products. Yeah, they have done unbelievably well in this year's Beauty Bible Awards. They did quite well last year. Yeah. This year, done amazingly well. Another really good smell. Um, I'm just taking it, the top off to smell it. Really good. This is a household name. These brands have not come with a reputation that people have any expectations that they're going to do well. Yeah. They simply have slightly underwhelming grey packaging. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's quite perfunctory, isn't it? But it feels it's nice. It's got, it's got a nice touch to it. I think they call it soft touch, this finish. It's, we're, all it's very about, nice. we're all about performance. Yeah. And so it's what comes out of that grey tube. Yeah. And they've done incredibly well across a whole category. And yeah. we have, just to say, we have body care, 
sun care, facial care, um, uh, body care, sun care, facial care, makeup, and, mm. and tech basically as okay. the different yeah so, well i mean this I, says it's color safe which is good because i you know yeah. spend a lot of money on my hair highlights yes. didn't during <laughs> lockdown i bought little weller kits online for about seven pounds and i had lily do my roots you know which was oh. fine up to a point uh, but I'm very glad to be back in the salon now. But you know, you, you know, you spend money having your hair dyed, or at least I do, and actually, I then don't want a shampoo that's going to strip out all that colour. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. And and you know, I think I think the probably the best, my favourite bit of not being locked down anymore is being able to go back to the hairdresser. <laughs> it's and I went back. I had an appointment. Uh, when was it? maybe 10 days ago at the beginning of the kind of next phase of out of lockdown and I could actually have a magazine and a cup of coffee oh my I mean God. it was simple pleasures really because the first time I went back when they were allowed to open it obviously all had to be you know all masked up you weren't allowed to they couldn't give you a drink you weren't allowed to have a magazine it was nothing no, you had to kind of leave your coat in the car and things. Virtually, was... you know, and be sort of, you know, totally sanitised before you went anywhere and, and just sit on the edge of, a, a, of your seat. Um, and, you know, just those little things like having a nice cup of coffee and the chance to yes. flick through a copy of Hello was actually part of the pleasure. <laughs> My guilty exactly. pleasure. Exactly. I love that, Jessica, because, I, you know... It's proper downtime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I try not to take my laptop. I mean, if I'm there for a whole head of highlights, sometimes yeah. I do try and do a bit of work. But <laughs> anyway, so this looks... I'm going to try this conditioner because it says that it gives you bounce for fine, flat hair, which is what mine can be, but without um, weighing it down. Yeah, really well. Did really Never well did. for that. Now, talking of colour, a couple of things just to finish up with. This... I have tried these and I do think they're very good. This is Vita Lib Liberata. Okay. Have is I said that, that the, correctly? Or the, which, which one is that? The this facial? says it's primer and tinted face moisturiser. So actually that won in two categories. It won in the primer category and in the tinted moisturiser category. Wow. Clever. It, they, they entered twice. Uh, so two lots of testers got the product. And it did amazingly well. It's quite iridescent. It's quite... Um, For summer, it, lovely, if you uh, want that summer glow. Uh, How we, clever to be yeah. a primer and a tinted moisturiser. Yeah. I like that. Mm. That feels very nice. We're just entering tinted moisturiser season, I think. I think we are, yes. And the other season that we're entering, which in fact we've got here, um, is it looks like some sort of little iridescent powder. I'm not sure who makes this, which... What's the make? Do you know what that is? Because it's got a sticker over it. I can't quite see, actually. Uh, but I, I, might, I might have it on my list. Hold on. Um, so I think... Let me just... um, yeah. Oh, it's called... Uh, I'm never going to pronounce this. Uh, woga, woga. Uh, woga, woga. Woga, woga. <laughs> so, U-O-G-A. What on earth? Who on earth is Woga, I, woga? And what a crazy it, name. It's a brand like... It's from Estonia or somewhere. I mean, it's a little tiny Eastern European brand. Really, I love that. Beautiful name, we have to say. Woga but woga. I mean, you. But that's terrible for search engine because if you say woga woga, you're going to look it up with a W, and it's a U O G A. I mean, they're going to real miss out on that, don't you think? From a branding perspective, you know all about branding because of green and blacks and all of that. Yeah. But... Yes, it's not easy. Not I mean, easy. I would just have things that everyone can spell. Yes. You know. Everyone, yes. in every, ideally. <laughs> yes, in every yeah. language. So <laughs> this, so what, what did this win an award for? I think that makeup. So I think you probably need a kabuki brush with that. What's uh, a kabuki brush? Sorry. A kabuki Maybe brush is the kind of slightly bigger one. So basically... Got like that? Would, would that do? Oh, yes, like that, basically. Oh, it so, is quite iridescent. Should I try risking popping some on my cheek? Would it be like a little highlighter? It, it, you know what? Where should it I put might... it here? might be high yes just there on yeah. your on your on Ooh, your cheekbone nice yeah 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 a bit of gleam it's, it's a gleam are, they are they won the highlighter category i think ah oh yes nice just a little bit of something so much and on the brow bone but well it not... is monday after all you know <laughs> 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 have nowhere to go just my fields but there you go i'm, oh, I'm sure. going for a swim up I'm sure my chickens will like will appreciate it. Are you going for a swim? In the sea, yes. Now yeah. you swim every day, don't you? 
I, do you know what? I gave up at the beginning of this year for a few months because I got incredibly cold when I got out of the sea. And have it, it, basically the air was colder than the sea and it was the first time that had happened wow. and I couldn't get warm. And I came home and I had a hot bath and I could not get warm. Yeah. And it was quite scary, actually. Yeah. Um, don't don't so they say that you have to have a hot drink so you warm up from the inside rather than a hot shower it, or a hot bath? It, it put me off a bit, so I've yeah. only quite started going in again. And it's freezing, but it's fun. I went and in the sea when I went down to Devon. I, no, down in Cornwall, actually. I was down yeah. Cornwall Way, um, Polseth, Polseth Beach. But I did. Yes. I only made it up to my waist. I felt like such a wuss. Because there were, there were, but there were all these surfers there in flipping wetsuits, and I was there in my swimming costume, so I didn't feel too... But, well, but very still... bracing on the thighs. Very good, I think, for, you know, cellulite bits, dimply bits, yeah. don't you think? It's it, Absolutely. I think it's it's fantastic. And really interestingly, I, I, I think that um, everyone always thinks that seawater is drying, which it is for hair. Yeah. But for the skin, I often don't need moisturiser afterwards. Really? Because there's, well, you know, uh, seaweed ingredients are big moisturising ingredients. Yeah, in interesting. A theory that the the kind of seaweed algae in the sea yeah. is has a moisturising effect because my skin is never dry. Swimming. Very, very interesting indeed. Well, I shall let you go off for your swim. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you for sending me all these lovely things. Um, I look forward to trying them uh, and making my own mind up as well. But obviously, you've done so much of the hard work, all you and your testers. I think you're going to have a lot more applications on your website for testing. <laughs> and also that's, just a lot more people fine. coming to have a look to see, you know, what the, the I, scoop is really on, on different products. It's, it's so reassuring to be able to do that with impartial information. Cut through the beauty jungle. That's our, always been our aim. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's so nice to see you. Can't wait to do it in real life and have a proper hug. Please, let's get our <laughs> diaries together. Um, yes. and, and we're going to get together maybe with the rare tea lady, who's a mutual friend. She yeah. gets back from good. Yeah, where where is she at the moment? She's still in Copenhagen. Is she? Okay. Oh, well, give her my love if you speak to her. I know that you're, you're you know, quite close to her. So it'd be lovely. Yeah. And let's, let's talk perfume next time, can we, in the Perfume Society? Yeah, of course. Always. And, and all our senses need a treat, basically. They do. Joe. it's so nice to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on 25 years. Really, really brilliant. Oh. And love to Sarah, too. Oh, love to get. <laughs> I'm sure she'll send love back. Oh, she I hope to something. see you both really soon. Thank you. Music. Big kisses. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now, you have to leave me, my love, otherwise I think I cut everybody I'll off. Leave. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that. want to do that. I've done that before. Got into Going. trouble. I'm that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wasn't that just all so interesting? You know, I do remember when Joe and Sarah started their brilliant Beauty Bible series um, and just being so impressed, you know, with the integrity of sending out 10 products, 10 of the same products to 10 people all over the country, all ages, all walks of life and, and giving them the time to test things properly. And that is, you know, truly independent, isn't it? So do go and check it out. Now, I know Martha has been super busy putting links to everything that we've talked about there, all the different products. Um, and we are going to pop them up online as well. So you'll have them on lizardwellbeing.com. Um, but yeah, lots to say. So just before I go, a few other just quickies I wanted to mention. Um, Dr. Lip, and I don't know whether Dr. Lip won any awards for any categories, but it certainly gets an award from me. I love Dr. Lip. I've used their lip uh, little moisturizers, the purified lanolin, for years. I think it was Kerry September, actually, my makeup artist friend who first introduced me. And in case you missed it, this is their latest creation, which I absolutely love. I've been using it. I've been getting little patches of dryness, actually, on my chin, um, maybe because I've been trying out too many new things, really. They've got this kind of, they used to call it beauty editor skin syndrome, which your skin would start to react because my skin is very sensitive. And if I try too many things, I, I get into trouble. Um, but anyway, this has really saved the day. And it is just, as far as I'm aware, it's just two ingredients. It's just purified natural lanolin with a bit of natural coconut oil. So it has a little bit more of a glide to the skin than the lip product. So if you can see it, I hope you can see it on there. 
Um, I've been using it as an overnight balm. I've been using it on little areas of chapped skin, around cuticles. I've been slathering it onto my hands and my feet at night. And a really good overnight treatment, actually, is if you cover your feet in a balm. This is a very good one, but, you know, any kind of really rich balm. And then you slip on a pair of cotton socks. And it's a little bit of a passion killer, but it's worth it because in the morning you take the socks off and your body heat has sealed in the most amazing amount of moisture that's sunk into your skin. And I actually had a pedicure not that long ago, now that we're allowed to go out and do such things. And I was told by the technician that actually they're seeing so many cases of really, really dry skin on the soles of our feet and cracked heels, which can be really painful. Because during lockdown, everybody's just been kind of walking around barefoot. And particularly during winter, if you've got underfloor heating, for example, that has really dried out people's soles of the feet. And it's not something that you notice really until you then start going back into shoes. I was out last week in a pair of high heels. Can you believe it? I could barely walk. Honestly, my calf muscles the next day, I really felt it. But it was so nice to be out in a pair of high heels. But I did really feel it on the soles of my feet. Um, so yeah, so this is a balm that you can use anywhere. It's just called multi-use skincare and we do still have our affiliate code. So the Liz Loves is still available. That gets you 15% off. Okay, so don't forget that if you are after something really lovely and nourishing. Something else before I go not to forget. Uh, jo was talking there about her new category for tech. Mm, interesting. I wonder if Lily has heard about that. The problem is you've got to provide 10 10 gadgets and these are very expensive gadgets hers I've got mine actually in the background I'll just grab it um, so that you can see it because mine sits beside my bed so this is her amazing mask the LED mask for cell return and it is the most powerful one on the market it's got its medical license um, for most of the world it, it's actually had to wait before it can uh, announce it here in the UK because it had its European medical license and then obviously with Brexit that all changed so now the Brits have got to catch up but it's it's a South Korean device and it was developed using NASA technology not only LED but also near infrared which is what gives it its incredible powers and you know and people do say oh your skin looks glowing Liz and I'm like yeah I'm afraid it is largely um due to this and other things you know gut health and all sorts of stuff that I've talked about for a long time but just to say yes it's expensive and yes we do have a Liz Loves affiliate so you do get 10% off um but would you like a free one would you like a free one? Well, that's a question that doesn't really need any answer, does it? So if you've got your current issue of the magazine, you will see that on page, where are we? Um, page 122 and 123. For those of you who don't know, this is Lily, my eldest, Lily Earl. Um, and she basically, through her migraine journey and investigating help for chronic pain, which sadly is an ongoing journey still for her. Um, but one of the things that she found, so I guess there was a small silver lining, is that she started to look at LED technology uh, in terms of pain relief. And it certainly helps her. It's not the answer. It's not the end of the story. But it's, it's one of the many helpful things along the journey. And there's been some very interesting science, actually, and, and clinical studies on PubMed that you can look up if you want to regarding LED and near-infrared. Um, but anyway, so she, uh, in conjunction with a doctor in South Korea, started looking at these amazing masks. And long story short, she now brings them in. So she's the only person in the UK that has cell return. And uh, I'll just show you very briefly because those of you who don't, don't know it, it has, I think, 1,700 lights. It doesn't flicker, okay? I know it's flickering on your screen. It does not flicker, I promise you. I mean, Lily gets migraine. She couldn't have anything if it flickered. Um, but you wear it like that, or you can take its little cover off. So, like this. Um, it's safe for the eyes. In fact, they've even done studies to show that the red light um, can help with macular degeneration, which is very interesting. So, yeah, you can have your eyes open or not. Um, it comes with little eye shields if you want to wear them, but I, I don't. I just have it on its own. So 20 minutes, that's what I do at night because the red light also helps you sleep. So I find I get much better sleep if I use it at night. I used to use it during the day, but once I realised that I, it would help my sleep, then I now use it at night. 
the blue mode here is the one that you would use if you have problem skin. So it's used by a lot of people with acne. Um, I've got younger members of the family who borrow this mask all the time to have it on the blue mode. And then pink mode. So pink is the frequency that's for inflammation. So that's for things like scar tissue, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, then you'd use it on the pink mode. And then they have this, I love this, I use this before I go out, I do fast mode. So fast mode is nine minutes, it's like having a facial in nine minutes, and it does, I think it's maybe six minutes of red, and then a minute of blue and a minute of pink. Um, is that six, seven, eight? Yeah, it must be nine. It must be seven minutes, I think, of red and then a minute of blue and a minute of pink. And it just, pooh, your skin just pings up. Anyway, that is the amazing Cell Return mask. And we do have one to give away. Okay, so you've got to be in it to win it. So it's really simple. It's just a free competition over on lizardwellbeing.com. Um, and somebody has to win it. Somebody here has to win it. Can you imagine? I'm actually talking to um, a, uh, my lovely Amy, who's head of digital, to see whether we can draw the winner here live uh, and announce it here. So we've got a few, apparently there are a few compliance issues because you've got to be really careful with competitions. It's all very carefully regulated. There's a whole... Um, <laughs> yeah, it does help being signal, a single rather signal, sig single bed socks and an LED mask is a passion killer for sure. But there you go. I don't have to worry about that at the moment. Um, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. And actually, you don't have to go to bed with it. You could use it just before bed, perhaps. And um, you can sit and watch the telly actually with it, you know, wearing it. Uh, anyway, yes, so make sure that you are in it. OK, in it to win it. And I will see. I think the competition... When does it say? It doesn't say when it ends, but I think it will be the end of June because this is the May-June issue. This is the current one. So you've got a few more weeks. Um, so, yeah, do share the love. Do pass it around with your girlfriends because, you know, as I say, somebody has to win it. And it is worth, uh, it's worth £1,899. So nearly £1,900. And should you want... To not take the chance and just buy one then you can use Liz Loves we've got that lovely affiliate link for 10% off and actually if you're interested I know there was a lot of chat talking about hair loss because she's now got the hair alpha ray the helmet um, which is extraordinary actually it really is extraordinary I must do another live with her talking about that you know particularly for anybody whose hair is really thinning um, and they, they do the service where you can send photographs of your scalp and your hair and they send that to the doctors to tell you whether it's likely to work or not because they don't want you to waste your money if it's not going to work. But I know a lot of guys are using it now um, as an alternative to hair transplants or you know other things that are much more expensive and obviously much riskier and you know may or may not work. Um, interesting here, there was a question actually from Teresa on Facebook, any advice to help scars? Well... It's obviously very pricey, but that pink setting is the one that you use for scars for the LED mask. Otherwise, I think um, laser treatment, you know, if you can find a good laser therapist, there's somebody that I've written about, I think it's online on our, there's our wellbeing website, Debbie Thomas has a brilliant laser clinic in London, in Walton Street, so look her up. But also rosehip oil. So rosehip oil has got some really interesting phytochemical compounds in it, similar to retinol, actually, because retinols also can, can be very good for scarring. But just to use a little bit, you know, wherever your scar is, whether it's a surgical scar or, you know, chicken pox scar or whatever, obviously the fresher the scar, the easier it's going to be. Um, and if you're having surgery or you've got a surgical scar, then you can get a lot of silicon strips and silicon gel that you use you use every day it's a medical product you can buy it online um, or from chemists and it's 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 very safe it's very pure and you can use it i think as soon as stitches come out have a look you can they'll have information on their websites about it um, but that really helps with healing and scar tissue but again you need to use it every day for about three months um, but then after that, if it's an older scar, you know, I always remember with my um, middle boy when he fell out of his pushchair when he was little uh, and had a little scar up by his eyebrow and I just rubbed a little bit of um, rosehip oil, pure rosehip oil on his, on his little uh, temple here every night, little dot. Uh, and, uh, and that worked really well. 
so now it doesn't you can't see can't see the scar uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your comments. Uh, lots of chat here on menopause, lots of chat here also um, on supplements. Um, I'm going to be back live on Wednesday talking about vitamin D and more. I'll be back with Andrew, who's the CEO of Better You. So it'll be really interesting to chat to him um, about, uh, oh my goodness, talking about hair loss here. Yeah, honestly, do just ping a question to Cell Return um, and see if their doctors there have got um, have got information that could help you. They're they're really good, and obviously you can follow Lily on her Instagram. She's got Cell Return UK, I think, is her Instagram for that, and that's Cell as in skin cell, C E W L Cell Cell Return. Uh, anyway, do check it out. Um, lots of information. Yes, well spotted. This is, somebody's commented here, this is my little wild rose bracelet. So these are also, in fact, if you've got the magazine, you'll see everything from the wild rose range is 25% off. You don't need a code. That's just a current offer. So they're the little earrings. You can get the little necklace that I normally wear um, and the little bracelet, which, uh, which I thought I'd pop on today. So do take a look at that. I haven't got my wild rose earrings in today. I found my little mangrove hearts. So I'm wearing those instead, my little rose gold hearts. I was in a, in a loving mood. I thought I'd pop my hearts in. Anyway, very nice to see you all. Wasn't that great to chat with Joe? Big thanks to Joe if you're still watching and all the team at Beauty Bible. Really massive congratulations on 25 years. It's just been lovely to celebrate it with you. Have a lovely start to the week. Um, I hope everybody got their free e-guide, their free brain book. Um, it was up free until midnight, I think, on Saturday. And we did talk about it a lot on my social media and on Lizard Wellbeing and, of course, in the newsletter. So plenty of opportunities. So I do hope that you got it. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, and I think I'll pick up and talk more about nutrition and health and brain and all of that on, mm, on Wednesday. So look forward to seeing you then. Have a great start to your week. Lots of love. Bye.